Hi, this is Dr. Otto Jenke, Cairo Passion Leader. Coming up in November 13th and 14th down in Dallas, we're going to be talking about communication. So we want to bring in some of the biggest people we know. We're going to talk about chiropractic and communication. And one of our guest speakers is going to be this man right there, Dr. Dan Sullivan. Dr. Dan, thank you for being with us today. Hey, I'm honored. First of all, let's put your site down here. It is chiropracticadvocate.com. I highly recommend all of our uh, listeners, all of our watchers, go to that site right away. Get to know Dr. Dan. Get to know what he's talking about, and more importantly, what he will be talking about in in Dallas. Uh, so we talked about this. You and I just discussed this. You went to uh, Northwestern. Yep. And how did a guy from there, because we talk about the certainty of chiropractic, the power of chiropractic, how did a guy who went there, which is from a, a pretty much a, a college which is not philosophically based, to a guy becoming a big torchbearer for philosophy? Well, you know, that's a good question. Here's the, the first thing I, you know, I really talk about. I, I grew up in a medical family, so I've got brothers that are medical doctors. I've got a mom that's a nurse. I've got sisters, occupational therapists. So my whole background was medical. In fact, I never thought I would be a chiropractor. Long story short, I ended up getting hurt, you know, in sports in, in, in high school. And my chiropractor taught me to be – he didn't teach me anything about chiropractic, but he, he told me I should be a chiropractor. I thought, you know sure. – that sounds good. I literally, so here was the deal. From when I was 16 years old in high school to when I was 21 and I just entered chiropractic college, I had no idea what chiropractic was. However, I, right. I had a great experience. I got better when nobody else could get me better. I went to pre-chiropractic. I was my first year in chiropractic and still had no idea. So I sit in front of, so, so watch, I, I sit in front of, of, of a guy named Dave Majors. He was he, sure. he was teaching you know just a lay lecture, then game I, face. Then yep, and then I listened to Reggie Gold, and I had some upper trimester students that were mentors of mine. And here was my thing: when I first heard the story, when I first heard chiropractic, my first thing was, if for five years I was going to be a chiropractor, I was studying pre chiropractic, I had a chiropractic experience, I kind of knew everything. What I thought, I visited three other chiropractors, and I didn't know what chiropractic was for five years. <laughs> Can you imagine? Here was my head. My thought was, what does the rest of the public think? Chiropractic? How would they ever get the idea if I was Absolutely. in it? And so one of the things I'm going to talk about in Dallas is, is really bridging that gap. If we don't recognize there is a gap, if we don't recognize that the rest of the public has no idea, None. and we have this thing that, that, and here's one of my, you know, again, what my, you know, passion is right now is we have not only have this beautiful principle, but it's backed by the best evidence in the world. And whether we like it or not, the language of today is science. I'm not a huge, you know, I never grew up, I wouldn't say I didn't grow up in science. I, I don't love science because I love science. It's confusing to me. I think it's, you know, neurology is confusing to me. But I want to walk into any room, anytime with anyone and to be able to defend and more importantly have certainty and power in the words and to be able to actually represent chiropractic and its philosophy to its best. So that's kind of my uh, short, short version there. <laughs> awesome. Absolutely Awesome. One of the great words you used, which we love in, in uh, chiropractic, is certainty. And you talk about the certainty of a chiropractic adjustment. We think that uh, chiropractic is built upon, your success is built upon the certainty, the confidence, and the clarity of uh, communicating chiropractic. And I love that you talk about the power of the chiropractic adjustment. That's, uh, that's powerful, man, just powerful. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, there's a lot of other things in chiropractic, but, you know, I believe, um, you know, I still say it. I say it every time I speak. Um, well, the first thing I say is, is the perception. We've got to change the perception of chiropractic. I mean, if we want an yeah. increased market share, which we all do, we w then they got to know why they're showing up at our doorstep. I get it that, you know, they come for whatever it may be, but what are we saying when they get there? And you guys do such a good job of, of literally walking somebody through a process, meeting them where they're at, but bringing them. And so my thing is, you know, in chiropractic, we beat that up. More people, more people, more people. But if we don't change the perception, listen, I walk out on the street, I go to a church, I go to a mall, I go to a civic event, ask, ask 100 people, what is chiropractic? What are they going to yeah. say? Neck, back, pain. So my yeah. question is, where did we get that model? Because if you look at the evidence and the science, it, and even our history back to 1918 and the flu, it, was, it doesn't represent that. So I get Thank so you. passionate about saying, okay, us chiropractors, we need to get great at two things, and you guys do a good job of this, and that's so why I'm stoked to, to, to be speaking to your group, which is, uh, number one, communicate chiropractic, and number two, deliver chiropractic. Uh, Bruce Lee, I just saw this quote. Bruce Lee said, um, I don't get scared of the guy that knows a thousand kicks. 
I get scared of the guy that knows one kick, one kick and does it thousands of times. <laughs> and it's like, that's what we need to be as chiropractors. Understand, own the philosophy, own what we do, and communicate that message so we can change your perception and, and, and increase market share. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Love that. 18 different ways. Dan Sullivan with chiropracticadvocate.com. I think one of the cool things uh, that you bring to the table is uh, someone who started out in that model who has transformed. So tell me, what what was the big step you went from being in that model over there of of not knowing what chiropractic is to all of a sudden, what was that What was that aha moment? Was it was it Dave Major? Was it Reggie? What was it that, that brought you over there? Yeah, it, it was. That's a good question. I, I wouldn't say there was an exact one. There, there was a combination. Number one, it was, um, you know, I was watching these guys and I had mentors of mine early on and I got heavily involved with Gonsta Club, uh, the technique and going to Mount Horb. And I would watch these Gonsta doctors and they were saying, I mean, they were showing testimonies of crazy stuff. So as much as my analytical mind wanted to discount you know, they're kind of out there. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of disrupting everything I ever knew about health, but it made sense. And these guys were, you know, they were stand up guys. They weren't some like, you know, I'm pretty, you know, kind of intellectual in some way. And I just, I look at people and I, I study and I monitor them. I'm like, you know, as much as that is what they're saying is somewhat unknown to me, they're not weird and they're not crazy. There must be something to it. So it led me down that journey of listening to more and more and more. And lo and behold, then you kind of, in my, you know, my opinion was I kind of had to really just buy in and I bought in and I, I studied and looked and studied and looked and studied and looked. I didn't just give that up. I literally spent time into why this makes sense and then does it back up. And then why doesn't the world know it? That's the question. Again, that's that gap I talked about. If we don't recognize a chiropractor where they are, the world and the culture, and where you know where we are and why we think the way we do, and ultimately how to bridge that, you know, I feel like um, we'll never get there. But uh, you know, again, you guys do that uh, just as good, if not better, than anybody. Well, thank you very much. You know, I I, uh, I speak on many times about the philosophy of chiropractic, but I got to tell you, with me, probably much like yourself, uh, the physiology of the body is my philosophy, and. Uh, if if we didn't get the great results we we do, we'd just be crazy guys standing on the corner yelling at stuff. So uh, 100% with you right there. Uh, Dr. Dan will be one of our incredibly great speakers. So do you recommend people wear fire retardant suits while you're speaking, or should we have uh, fire extinguishers around at uh, every exit? Well, I just, just give them some gray tape, and they can duct tape their uh, socks and their toenails so they don't fall off. <laughs> here, no, but here's the thing. Here is the, here, here is the thing, Doc. Though here's one of the things that I'm really going to speak about, which I, in every room is that I um I just I, you know I'm so and you guys do a good job of that. I see Dr. Joe a lot talking about this, but I just I refuse to let anybody discount the power of our philosophy, the beautiful you know uh, you know truth of our philosophy on the grounds that it's unscientific, and that's the thing. That gets me. I know we can walk into any room and 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 own the philosophy. And when we own that, we stay in our lane. But at the same time is when we know that. So so for instance, the best literature, PubMed gold standard literature, supports and shows that chiropractic is more proven to improve visceral systemic physiology than it is to help musculoskeletal back pain. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm going to show it. And the question though is, why doesn't anybody know this except us? And so that's why we have to have a strong voice. But that voice has to start inside our own heads first. Wow. It's getting hot in here. I might have to take my shirt off for a moment. I'm going to have to pat my head down a little. It's getting kind of hot in here, man, already. Dr. Dan Sullivan is going to be one of our incredible uh, speakers in Dallas, along with uh, the incredible uh, Dr. Liam Schubel. Both of you guys together, we might have to put, get the uh, – let me get the fire department's number right here for the Dallas Fire Department make sure they're on call right there. Uh, November 13th and 14th. Again, the uh, chiropractic advocate, excuse me, chiropracticadvocate.com. Uh, make sure you see his website. Dr. Dan Sullivan, uh, appreciate your time with us. And uh, uh, I, we're going to set the place on fire in Dallas. And I look forward to seeing you in just a couple, in uh, about a month or so. Yeah, man, that sounds great. Let me, let me leave you with this. Let me leave anybody that's, li that's listening with this is that, um, you know, don't for a second, chiropractors, and I'm telling myself this too, don't for a second downplay your significance in this world, this, yes. this imbalanced, chaotic, stressed out world. Like you bring a hope and a sanity that nobody else can do. And I'm telling you, one of the things we have to continue to, to build is our vision. Vision for people, vision for a community, vision for a society. 
I'm not trying to, you know, some people say you're, you're trying to oversell. I'm like, listen, it is what it is. Chiropractic is what it is. The principle is what it is. It literally can transform lives and nations. And I truly believe that. And I think we can prove that. And you guys do a heck of a job. And it's just going to be a party in Dallas. You can't oversell air. You can't oversell oxygen. You can't oversell water. You can't oversell chiropractic. Amen. It is what it is. And it's the power of it. Dr. Dan, I appreciate your time, man. And uh, for all our listeners, all our watchers, uh, you do recommend duct taping, and I'll probably have to call the fire department to make sure they're there. Thanks, Dr. Dan Sullivan, appreciate your time, man. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. You too, brother. Thank you. Thank you much. Okay.